Hey, welcome to TPM. My name is Chris Ivan, and in today's 3 Minute Thursday video, I would like to talk about models which are too large for your 3D printer. As you know, 3D printers come in a variety of shapes and sizes, and their print space can be anywhere from a few cubic inches to a few cubic feet. I am currently using an HP Multi-Jet Fusion and a Mark Forged FDM printer. So let's take a look at a simple part I'll call it a tablet. And as you see, it's too large for this print volume. So since I need to keep it this actual size, I will have to split it and later glue it back together. Here, I will go through some of the more popular options used by me and others who face this challenge. The most basic one is a flat split. It's quick, easy, but will result in a pretty weak area once glued together. Uh, use this mainly for visual parts, which will not see a lot of physical use. Then you have an overlap. You see how I drew a line and used it to split the part. Then added two chamfers to allow for the excess glue or epoxy to drain out. And this will create a, a good bit stronger bond when, you, when it's glued back together. Here we have a tongue and groove. It's very similar to the overlap. In the way it's being built, um, it offers a little extra strength in, um, in, both, in both directions. Again, you see the channels for the glue to drain. Then a central dowel can be used for thicker parts or those which need strength in, um, in every direction. A lot of times the geometry of the part will dictate the type of cut or the type of split. And then we have a dovetail. I basically drew this like a puzzle piece. You can choose different shapes as needed for each uh, model or to work your way around certain features that might not need to be dis disrupted. Now, let me show you a particular example of a part too large to print in one piece. I chose to split it in a region which will be easier to glue while keeping its shape. Something else to keep in mind is the material you use to print. Some materials, such as ABS, expand slightly and you need to build a clearance of one, two, three, or more millimeters to allow for the parts to fit back together. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something and um, have fun printing.